Hello guys, my name is Popola Tosin and today I will be showing you how to make prompts and prompt page. This is a, a basics and I will be using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.1 release 6. This is the reporting section. So let's start with our list. I'll choose our list and I will name my query. Let me name it main query now bring it down my data source I'll be loading the list with on time status source of requests and service requests good so let's go to page preview Let me group by on time status and let me sum the service requests. Good. Now we'll be going to the query. And we can set the prompt by outcoding it. So let's say we bring our source of requests. Let's, let's see our source of requests equals uh, let's say if you want if you want to set the prompts we start with question mark and we say source underscore parameters then we close it with question marks this we bring only one we can only choose only one uh, element from the source of requests but if we change the equals to to him then we can choose multiples good and we can set our service requests also since our service service request is in numbers so we say service request uh, let's say greater than like we did for the source of request let's say 2000 good now if you run this report oh before we run the reports there is something i need to show you now for this service request detail filter we have to change the application to after auto aggregation yes and since both of them are required then we can run them again let's run them it's coming up it's coming up so these stars are telling us these are required fields we have to select both fields before we can proceed so let's select uh, citizen city workers constituent call and employee generated and here let's select 2000 you see it gave us our four sources of requests we selected and these are the service requests that are greater than 2000 good but one thing about this is that the page is automatically generated by the hey hi now we are going to go and create our own page we will be creating our own page let us disable let's disable them first 
let's disable this and let's disable let's disable this and let's go back to our list good this this is our list let us center it good good nice so what do we do we go to our prompt page go to the prompt page so we had it we click it and it brings us here let us name let us name this our uh, prompt page let's call it prompt page good so you can start by creating a table with two columns and three rows good then we can start by naming this first row and we can call it uh, select source of request select source and we can name this let's name this also service service requests um, greater than or something good good so here we can bring in our value prompt we bring in the value prompt over here I'm bringing the value prompt I think we already have some existing parameters so we can use our existing parameters oh we have disabled it we have disabled it okay let's go back to let's go back and enable them let's go back to our queries let us enable it let's make it okay let's enable it and let's enable it let's require it okay i'm going back to our prompt page let's bring our value prompts coming with value prompts it should be there now good so we now have our source let's use our source parameters next we can name let's give it a name that we will remember let's name the query something that we will remember so let's call it source source underscore query underscore parameters parameter good and the value to use Cognos has automatically generated it for us and the values to display you don't need to put that cascading source we are not cascading so we click finish good now this this is it now let's go to our service request and put in our text prompt let's drag our text prompt let's also use our existing oh we named it as 2000 good okay then finish so now let us finesse let us do some little things here okay apply and 
OK. Then let's center it. OK. And Okay, I think it can be bigger. Let's make it 18. This is good. Then we can apply. Apply table style. This is modern. Okay, good. Now we can merge these two. Good. We can now nice. So here let's bring our cancel button over then our finish over here merge it again merge it we center it so Let's remove this. And let's remove this. What do we need to do again? Okay. Let's check. Is it required? Yes. Multi select? Yes. Select you high list box. Okay, let us put it as check. Yes, auto submit no. Okay, I think every other thing is cool. And here too, required yes, not select no, numbers only yes. And we are good to go. So if we run this. It will take us to our prompt page which we have to fill before taking us to our list okay so let's say we pick then these are required let's 2000 then we click finish now it has given us our source of request the three source of request we picked and our service request that's greater than 2000 so this is working perfectly okay so guys this is how to create a prompt and prompt page this is just the basics my next video will take us to the advanced set. Thank you. See you some other time.